So, red flags with women. Uh, I want to talk about a few problems that may arise down the track with women if you don't identify these red flags early and cut them off immediately. Not all women, based on how attractive they are, are going to make good partners or even girls to have a one night stand with. Or even girls for short term relationships, just so you're going to date a girl for a month. Uh, if she shows some of these red flags, you should just cut her off immediately. And you should also be aware that if you start dating a girl that shows a lot of red flags early on, you have to, sh you have to be self aware enough that you might actually get trapped. <laughs> you might start to fall for this girl. Uh, you might go, oh, she's hot, she's showing red flags, she's a bit bitchy, but I'm going to date her anyway. Next thing you know, you fall in love with her. Next thing you know, you're trapped in some sort of a long-term relationship. You're married to some awful woman who ruins your life. Let's just prevent that by looking out for a few red flags that I think are really important. Before we kick it off, I'm Dave. And this channel is dedicated to giving you no BS, novel dating advice for modern man. Top link in the description, check out the website. You can go, I've got 300 blog posts in there. I've got over 500 videos here. You can go through all the free material, uh, but then when you're ready uh, and you want to step it up another notch, you're stuck in intermediate purgatory, you want to get out here and do some proper cold approach game. In Sydney, Australia, as you can see, this is the Opera House. I'm in Sydney, Australia. Uh, go to the website, fill out the form, do some coaching. So, red flags. The number one red flag for me in the early stages of meeting a woman is when she wants to go deep on my career or she wants to know what type of car I have, she wants to know where I'm living. Uh, living's not so bad, car's not so bad, but when she wants to go deep on any sort of topic that gives her an understanding gauge how much money you have in your bank or what your earning potential that's a massive red flag a woman that is socially aware and is not a total nutcase bitch will never start looking deep on your career or trying to gauge how much money you have in the early stages of a relationship she will spend most of her time trying to get to know you and and building rapport with you and seeing if you guys click there's some sexual tension whether she can fall in love with you whether she actually likes you as a person first before trying to figure out what your earning potential is what your career is what type of car you have how much money you have keep in mind women don't know anything about cars in general some do very rare do the type of girl that knows something about cars isn't that beautiful girl from fast and the furious She's often some bogan girl that like, you know, comes from the ghetto and you don't want to date her anyway. And she's probably on drugs, covered in grease. Uh, the type of, women don't really know anything about cars. What they want to know is what type of car you have so they can Google it, figure out how much money it costs. Figure out how much money you got in the bank. They want to find out what career you have so they can Google that career and figure out how much money you have in the bank. If she's trying to size you up financially early on, and that means not just in the first day, that means in the first month, that means even in six months of building up some sort of a relationship, drop her fast, drop, boom, drop, kick that one out. You don't want anything to do with her. She is a massive, that's a massive red flag. If a girl, within the first couple of sentences of texting after I've cold approached her, she's like, what is your job? I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> massive red flag. That's when I tell a lot of guys, if you want to do a one night stand, you just lie to her and tell her that you're the prime minister or whatever, or you're the king or you're some sort of a lord. If I get some, you know, work in finance, Deutsche Bank's one of my favorite ones. Um, and then keep in mind that it's only a short term thing. You cannot take her seriously, massive red flag. The second biggest red flag is you're out with her and she treats other people around you with disrespect. Let's just say you're in a cafe, you're in a restaurant, you know, just the usual scenario. She's rude to the waitress, she's rude to someone working behind a counter, she's rude to uh, hard working, lower paid, salt of the earth people who are just doing their job, trying to get by, and she's bitchy towards them, she talks down to them, she thinks she's better than them. 
drop kick her. She's a total bitch. Get her out of your life fast. Because as soon as she get, gets her claws into you, she's going to fuck your life. Two major red flags. Uh, if she's trying to size you up financially, and if she's rude to third parties around, and you think that, oh, she's rude to that person, she's defending me, no. Eventually, she's going to be rude to everybody, and once you're dating her long term and it becomes serious, she's going to start treating you the same way she treats the other people. So that's going to come back to you. Two major red flags. There are a lot of other smaller red flags. I have a, obviously red flags would be girls that have slept around too much, girls that are not virgins and that have had multiple partners, massive red flags, I would say chastity, innocence, uh, the type of girl that likes to club all the time, the guy that, the girl that, uh, these all, these go hand in hand, which is, does she like to drink a lot? Does she talk about drugs? Uh, the classic Aussie girl that is trouble is the type of girl that on the first date she's, she suggests you go for a drink or smoke some weed or take some drugs or whatever. Massive red flags. Think about how that's going to turn out long term. She's going to have mental illness problems. She might have mental breakdowns. She's more likely to uh, uh, be emotional. Uh, she's going to be a financial burden on you. Uh, and a lot of that's going to be your responsibility. Keep in mind if you get into a long-term relationship with a girl that sleeps around, that's your responsibility. She brings STDs back and gives it to you, you're at fault. She has a drug overdose, you're at fault. Uh, getting involved in a girl that is like that is only going to be a massive detriment, not only to your relationship, your love life, your financial situation, your mental stability, but your life. I would say drug abuse, anything to do with clubbing too much and sleeping around with other guys. Uh, if you get talking and she knows about men, she thinks that she's a relationship expert, that's a girl that's jumped on a lot of sausages. That's one that uh, she knows all the different types of sausages. She's a, an expert, she's a, she's a butcher, she's a legit butcher. You want to avoid those women. So, girl that wants to size you up financially, girl that's rude to third parties, very dangerous. And a girl that's very promiscuous uh, and has some sort of a drug addiction, drug addiction that's innocent, still bad. It's very, very rare that you'll find a girl that is drinking and taking drugs that is a virgin and innocent. Because they're the type of girls that end up hanging out with guys that take drugs and drink a lot sleeps around a lot. Promiscuous girls by themselves, if they're sober all the time, still. Warning signs, uh, if, if she is more likely to have a large uh, body count, obviously going clubbing, etc., she's less likely to pair bond with you. You need to drop these three types of women, and sometimes they overlap. You have a girl that's on drugs, partying all the time, rude with third parties, and wants to size you up financially. <laughs> that's the holy grail of hell. Get the fuck away from her. Top link in the description. Check out the website. Sign up to do some cold coaching, cold approach coaching out here. If you've been burnt, if you've had a divorce, if you've had some troubles in the past, come out here and uh, we'll find you a new one with some proper cold approach skills. I'll see you guys in the next video.